Texas Monthly's number one barbecue restaurant, Goldie's Barbecue, has a new barbecue item that is so incredibly good. It's crunchy, tender, and rich, and unlike any other bite I found while I was out in Texas. Well, during my time at Goldie's, I gave Jerby Barbecue, one of the owners, a hand while he was making them, and he gave me permission to share a backyard version of their recipe so you can cook them at home. And it is super simple. So one of the greatest benefits of this recipe is just how cheap pork belly is. So this is a pork belly I picked up from Costco and I got this whole slab for about $27. And just from eyeballing it, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get about four pork bellies from this slab. And cutting up the pork belly is super easy as well and you can absolutely use a standard kitchen knife to get the job done, but I'm using this curved Dexter Russell knife that I got for Christmas like a couple years ago. But yeah, I love this knife to break down big pieces of meat like when I'm cutting up ribeyes or for big pork bellies like this. So super simple, all we're gonna do is go ahead and cut off the edges here. Love this knife. And then we just need to segment this up into four equal pieces. So now we're left with four pork bellies and one pork belly junior. All for $27, what a great deal. And now it's time to season the pork bellies and Goldie's uses one thing only to season the pork bellies and that is salt. And we're gonna use a fine salt and just cover the tops of the pork bellies on these fat caps. And the salt is gonna help draw out the moisture out of the pork belly. That way we can get a nice dry and bubbly, crispy skin that will almost make it look like these pork bellies are not skinless. And we're gonna put a liberal coat of salt on, but just on the fat cap. And that's literally all there is to it. So let's go ahead and put these on the grill. So Goldie's cooks their skinless pork bellies on a rotisserie smoker made by the M&M Barbecue Company. These smokers run a real wood fire in the back and the pork bellies are loaded into the front and rotate in the hot smoke as they cook. And thanks to the heat and convection of the rotisserie, in just a few hours, the pork bellies come out bubbly and crackly. I mean, look at them. It almost looks like this pork belly still has skin. Well, unfortunately, most people don't have an M&M rotisserie smoker in the backyard, myself included. However, all we need is a cooker that will emulate the way that the rotisserie cooks. And I think your best bet is a pellet smoker because it cooks super hot to get you that nice bubbly crispy crust, but it also has some convection with the moving smoke in the cook chamber. And the added benefit of my pellet smoker is this smoke box. A unique feature to the Camp Chef Pro series of pellet smokers that allows me to smoke wood chunks in tandem with the wood pellets as I cook these pork bellies, which will help get them as close as possible to the ones that they serve at Goldie's. Unfortunately, because of the way that pellet smokers function, in order to get the pork bellies hot enough to cook like Goldie's, the bottom of the pork bellies is most likely gonna get burnt in the process. But there is a very simple solution that I'll explain with the help of Surfshark, the sponsor of today's video. Surfshark is a VPN service that keeps you safe and private by covering up everything you do online so that when your device is connected to the internet, all of that information is encrypted. So anybody who tries to snoop on you won't be able to see what you're doing or where you're doing it from. To demonstrate this, imagine if this pork belly was you and the harsh heat rising up from the smoker are people trying to snoop on your online activities. Well, Surfshark is like this fire brick, which will protect you from those snoopers so that you won't get burned by internet stalkers. And for me, my favorite benefit of using Surfshark is having the ability to change your virtual location. So me and my family love of Studio Ghibli movies, but unfortunately here in the US, those titles are not available for streaming. Well, with a simple click of a button, Surfshark gives me access to the entire Studio Ghibli collection for me and my family, no matter where we are. And there is no risk to trying Surfshark because they have a 30 day money back guarantee. But right now you can get an exclusive discount plus an extra three months of service for free when you sign up with promo code AntsBarbecue using the link in the description box. Again, that's promo code Ants Barbecue. Thank you, Surfshark. But if you don't have a pellet smoker, another thing that cooks really hot like a pellet smoker is a kitchen oven. The only difference is there's no smoke and basically no convection. So I'll go ahead and put a pork belly in my kitchen oven. That way you can see in comparison to the pellet grill pork bellies, how they turn out. Just put the pork belly on a wire rack over a foil tray to catch any drippings and also to protect the bottom of the meat from the hot coils at the bottom of the oven. And I'm cooking the pork bellies in both the oven and the pellet grill at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And it should take around three to four hours to finish. And that's pretty much it. 
Like I said, this is a super simple recipe. So while we're waiting for these pork bellies to finish, I'm gonna go ahead and make a dipping sauce for them. So this sauce is actually a throwback to my childhood because my mom would always make this sauce whenever she would pan fry tofu. And it's really easy to make and really delicious. Just take a half cup of soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of water, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and minced garlic and red pepper flakes to taste. Then mix till combined and the sauce is done. Alternatively, if you're not a fan of this sauce, you can just take some of your favorite barbecue sauce and then cut it with apple cider vinegar and use that as a dipping sauce. So right about three and a half hours, these bellies are looking right about done. The skin is getting nice, crispy, and bubbly, so it's time to get these wrapped up in foil. The oven pork belly was done shortly after. And although the fat cap isn't nearly as impressive as the smoke, smoked ones, the fat is still rendered, so I know it's gonna taste amazing. So I'm gonna let these rest in my cooler for a few hours, and then we can slice and eat. Okay, so in terms of appearance, for sure, and unsurprising to anyone, the smoked pork belly has a way better fat cap than the one that was cooked in the oven. And I think the main reason for this is because my kitchen oven doesn't have any convection, so I just couldn't dry out the surface of the fat cap fast enough, and therefore it just didn't get as bubbly and crispy as the one that was cooked in the smoker. However, in terms of the bottom of the pork bellies, the oven one came out way better than the smoked ones. I definitely underestimated just how harsh the heat is off of the fire pot, inside of the pellet smoker. So the end parts of the smoked pork belly were super crispy, but that middle section was perfect. I probably should have cooked it at around 250 degrees instead of 275. And another thing, I definitely should have cut the pork bellies into three pieces and a pork belly junior instead of four. It's just been so long since I've cooked a pork belly in my backyard that I totally forgot just how much a pork belly shrinks when it cooks. The pork belly is super tender and the fat is like completely rendered. So it's super rich and like almost sweet and then it has that salt on the top. It's just a great barbecue bite. And of course the smoked pork belly definitely has a better flavor. The smoke just pairing with all of those great attributes I just listed out is like out of this world. But when you add this dipping sauce to either of the pork bellies, it's just game over. But as a bonus, here's another recipe that you can do with either of the pork bellies. Just take a warm corn tortilla, add some guacamole, put in your chopped pork belly, some of your favorite hot sauce, and finally some pickled red onions. Muy buen taco. Watch the next video on your screen where I made every other barbecue item on Goldie's menu in my backyard. And I'll see you guys over there.